Alliance War, otherwise known as Alliance vs. Alliance, is coming to Empires and Allies soon. Here's a sneak peek at what's in store. An Alliance War is a two-day event where members of two different alliances wage war against each other. At the end of the war, the alliance that has earned the most flags is declared the winner. Note, you do not lose medals or resources from Alliance War attacks. When Alliance War starts, both sides will have a day to prepare their Alliance War bases. During this time, you can assign Strike Force defenders, donate troops to allies, and change the layout of your base. At the end of the preparation time, your Alliance War base is saved and is open to attack. Once the preparation time is ended, participants have one day to launch two attacks against the enemy. Only the best attack against each enemy base counts toward your Alliance's score. Coordinating with your Alliance is critical to winning an Alliance War. At the end of an Alliance War, you may review the results and replay the most successful attacks against each base. Alliance War loot will be delivered via your gift inbox. Winning the war rewards significantly more loot. When you see this screen, it means your Alliance leader has initiated a war and it's time for you to prepare. This is where you want to start rallying your troops, set up your strike force, and request reinforcements. This is the world map where you'll be matched up against other members of the Alliance that you're currently at war with. This is the battle results screen where you'll find out how many flags you gain from that battle. Keep in mind, the more flags you obtain, the more loot you'll get from Alliance War. To help level the playing field in Alliance War, we've made a few combat updates. We've removed the defensive strike force limit of four buildings. You can now put strike forces on six buildings at a time. Each base can be set up with special defensive strike forces. These last the entire war and are separate from the ones that you use to attack with. Like strike force, you can also defend your base with a special alliance reserve. These are special defensive only reserves that last the entire war and automatically respawn after battle. Remember, you do not lose medals or loot from Alliance War attacks, and there's a loot bonus based on the number of flags that your Alliance wins. So even if you can't win an Alliance War, there's reasons to keep fighting. Well that's going to do it for the first official look at Alliance War coming to Empires and Allies.